Mr. Lewis Gale, founder of Harambians, you are the author as well of the Harambians book and also founder of the Harambians Entrepreneur Alliance, yeah. an ecosystem with over 200 entrepreneurs across Africa. To kick us off, can you tell us a bit more about who and what is Harambians? You know, once I gave a speech at the Imperial College and someone got up and said, what are these Harambians? Sounds like a new species. But I promise you it's not. It's just as the title of the book suggests, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And at the core, Harambians are just young African innovators who are scaling social and business ventures across the length and breadth of Africa. Over the last decade, Harambians have created over 2,000 quality jobs, raised over $300 million, and reached a valuation, a combined valuation of over a billion dollars. So they keep, we keep on busy. And so you mentioned the $300 billion. Yes. Taking us through some examples, because I know you've got a portfolio of amazing entrepreneurs, can you give us some examples of private-public partnerships that have yes. worked really well? Well, I guess one of them that is very at uh, the top of mind for me is uh, the seed fund that we're launching in partnership with Cisco and the U.S. government. Uh, one of the biggest problems that entrepreneurs face across the continent is early stage capital. I like to joke that if you need upwards of $10 million, there's a whole host of private equity groups that will give you that money. If you need uh, smaller pools of money, there's a lot of microfinance institutions that will give you $10. If you're in the middle, you better start praying. And the reason for that is because this is the riskiest of, of, of bets, people at that early stage. So if you're going to get that to work, you cannot just rely on the private sector. You actually have to create creative public-private partnerships that in a sense are supporting that ecosystem so that it can become fully uh, operational in the private sector. So that's what we're doing with both Cisco uh, and the U.S. government to create a seed fund that would provide angel investment and uh, early stage financing to a lot of those companies. When are we thinking of launching that? We actually are launching that at the British Parliament on November 2nd. So God save the Queen <laughs> and may God bless America. You know, we love them all. <laughs> and then the very final question, what is your message? So you talked about this tricky middle. What is your message to the investor community about talent on the continent, entrepreneurial talent on the continent? Well, thank you for that question. I actually spent some time in China and the Chinese have a saying, we say the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. And my message to all investors right now is that if you think about it, it took the Europe about 1,000 years to develop. It took the United States about 300 years, China about 50, Dubai 18. If that trend continues, uh, this is the time to get involved on the continent of Africa. Um, I think someone told me, it's a saying, uh, it's not too late, but it's later than you think. <laughs>